hello friends uh, in this video tutorial I'm going to talk about the tryptophan operon or trip operon or TRP operon whatever you mm, like to say now uh, this operon is little bit different than the lac operon now in all this gene regulation about prokaryotes uh, all of us uh, try to give the ideal example of this gene regulation which is the lac operon so I recommend you to go back and uh, see the lac operon first because in this video lecture I'm going to drag uh, the example of lac operon and, and try to compare this tryptophan operon with lac operon because this comparative study will help you to understand what is the actual process okay now let us move on okay now this is the basic concept about uh, the uh, tryptophan operon now all about the tryptophan operon you must know uh, one thing if you try to know the one thing and remember one thing only about this lac operon you should know this whatever I'm going to say now is uh, that the, uh, this this tryptophan operon is uh, it means a synthesis or it's a biosynthesis operon okay but in case of the lactose operon it is the degradation or metabolic operon so the lac operon is, the, is, is dealing with the metabolic process or breakdown of something tryptophan operon is dealing with the biosynthesis of something now what that something is uh, the tryptophan amino acid as we know okay so if you know this this tryptophan operon means the biosynthesis of tryptophan or it is regulating uh, the biosynthesis of tryptophan then you can finally understand what is going on okay the normally cell require all the different amino acids all the essential amino acids uh, inside their body now they need to produce this they need to uptake it and normally uh, for us uh, for example we cannot produce it in, uh, those we need to uptake them from outer source but in bacterial cell they can produce this tryptophan right because they can produce different types of amino acid and tryptophan is one of them now for them uh, the production of tryptophan is a tedious process uh, they need lot of different ATP and lot of other jugglery of biochemistry to go on to finally produce tryptophan so when uh, they need uh, the production of tryptophan then only they utilize all those energies and all those stuffs to produce it so if you so uh, for example just think about logically if you are trying to produce a uh, food or meal uh, which is a pretty pretty uh, uh, pretty tough to make for example turkey you need to cook a uh, turkey dish uh, but you generally don't like to eat it or you generally don't need it at a particular occasion then why should you uh, prepare or, or, or utilize so much of time uh, for production of that meal so don't produce it just produce a simple meal I'll take it and everything will fine but if there is a special occasion only and you need to produce turkey then you spend the six hour and all those cooking cook, cooking uh, tips and all this uh, things to produce a turkey right so the exact thing is going on in this case too. Uh, the bacterial cell, uh, when they need only this tryptophan, then only in that case they utilize all those things to go. So bacteria have to ensure whether uh, uh, they need the tryptophan or not, and they need to produce a switch at the point of the tryptophan synthesis that uh, only when the tryptophan uh, concentration inside the cell is low then only they go through the procedure of making tryptophan but when there are a lot more amount of tryptophan in the environment or uh, where there is a, uh, a sufficient amount of tryptophan inside the cell they will not produce the tryptophan or they will off or shut off the signaling of or shut off the upper uh, operon of the tryptophan right so that is a very very important concept okay so if there is a uh, less tryptophan in your cell you produce it so less means on in case of tryptophan operon and high means off in tryptophan operon in case, in case of lack operon what we have found okay uh, now we have seen in case of lack operon the whole thing is reversed right uh, in case of lack operon what we have found we have found when there is a higher amount of lactose uh, then the operation operon is on and lower amount of lactose operation operon is off but in case of this uh, the reverse thing is happening now let us talk about the basic part is that in the, the, the let us think about the genetic construction of this uh, tryptophan operon if you look at the gene of the bacteria for the tryptophan operon uh, operon means a set of genes controlled by the operon uh, controlled by the operator right now here we are having the control sites uh, which is the most important part of our operon which is tryptophan a uh, promoter and operator region now in this case the operator site uh, is embedded on the promoter site 
Now, in case of lack of panel, what we have seen, we have seen the promoter side completely different from the operator side. Promoter in the first place, then downstream is operator. Right after that, we have other things uh, and and so on. Then the structural genes, right? But in this case, what we are having, we are having uh, the stretch of regions where we are having the promoter. So this is the promoter region, and in between somewhere at the promoter, we are having the operator side. That is another difference uh, of tryptophan operon with uh, lac operon, right? Now, uh, right after this region, we are having a segment of uh, region, segment of DNA sequence, which is called TRIPL or the leader peptide uh, or the leader sequence. Now, this leader uh, sequence is a very, very important and probably a, a, a totally unique thing in all this operon between the lac operon and trip operon. Now, this is very, very unique because this trip. Uh, this this leader sequence or the leader DNA sequence, uh, which will be transcribed to the leader peptide. Now this leader mRNA, which is really really important because it will regulate uh, the control or it will regulate uh, the stop or, or blockage of tryptophan operon when uh, the normal system will fail. Will fail, right? Now we will see uh, the step of blocking the tryptophan operon or step of up regulating the tryptophan operon. But there are some scenarios when uh, the normal uh, circuit circumstances will go against the tryptophan system or the tryptophan operon cannot be blocked by the normal or general pathway so in this case this leader peptide will help it to block right so it's a very very important or very very tight control by synthesizing this tryptophan why because again i'm telling you any biosynthetic pathway you have to admit you have to provide a lot of energy so it will be very very uh, very very unethical to, to use a lot of energy and then finally get nothing out of it right so that's why uh, cell never try to lose anything cell never uh, try to uh, cell always try to utilize everything which is which it is having right so it will have a tight control over all this situation now you can see here this is the promoter side and somewhere in the operator side that's fine now what is the basic part is going on in, in this case is that uh, in general system where where there is a uh, no tryptophan present so in the in those situation uh, there will be uh, there will be uh, no uh, no blockage of the tryptophan operon so the structural gene will must be synthesized uh, must be uh, transcribed in those situations right so in those conditions when we are having a very low amount of tryptophan in the cell cell must produce tryptophan and in those cases no repressor will come and bind with this attenuator because the repressor what we are having in this case the tryptophan repressor it's a type of molecule which is a dimer usually and this dimer is not having the proper structure for binding with uh, this promoter region or pro binding with this operator region and blocking this tryptophan operon so in normal situations there are a lot of uh, tryptophan repressor out there but none of them can come and sit onto the operator and can block this uh, tryptophan synthesis but only when there are a high amount of tryptophan inside the cell that signifies something else that signifies that we are having a lot more or a sufficient amount of tryptophan so don't waste your energy to produce much more tryptophan so block the tryptophan operon now in those situations what will happen those tryptophan amino acid which are present some of those tryptophan amino acid can come and bind with those repressor for example uh, say this is the repressor with, with the structure is uh, modified in previous case which is not favorable to bind with the operator now there is a lot more amount of uh, tryptophan inside the cell so those tryptophan will come and bind with it so let me uh, drag another color for the tryptophan so this red color thing is the tryptophan so tryptophan come and bind with this uh, this protein uh, this repressor protein as a result uh, no, uh, this this the structure of the tryptophan uh, uh, sorry the structure of the tryptophan uh, repressor changes and the structure changes in the way in the way in such a way that uh, the structure uh, now this repressor protein can easily bind with uh, the DNS uh, operator region right now this this is uh, it have the site for binding with the operator now it can come it can it can come and bind with this operator it will come and bind with the operator and then it will block the synthesis uh, uh, block the transcription of the downstream genes that are TRP, E, D, C, B, E, A, E, D, C, B, A, and all these genes. Okay, so this is the basic part. So higher tryptophan, it will come and bind with the, the, uh, the those uh, inactive repressor and activates the repressor. So what we are seeing in this case is this repressor, is this is this tryptophan is acting as a repressor. So this tryptophan is acting as a repressor for its own operon. 
in normal situations uh, there is the inactive repressor it cannot bind with it RNA polymers can sit and transcribe all these uh, structural genes uh, which will uh, finally help to synthesize tryptophan but where uh, and that is called uh, the operon is on but when there is a lot more tryptophan in the environment those tryptophan will come and attach with the repressor it will change the construction of the repressor in such a way that it can bind with the operator now and as a result of its binding uh, RNA polymers cannot sit onto the promoter site it is kicked out of the promoter site as a result the tryptophan operon is switched off so this is the two cases okay so this is the basic thing about all this case so this this lac operon and tryptophan operon is quite different in all these ways right now let's move on to the next slide now here we'll be seeing uh, the um, the overview of tryptophan operon okay the trip operon is an example of a repressible system meaning that the operon is automatically turned on unless a repressor becomes active and turns it off let's examine how this works in this system the repressor protein encoded by the R gene is always expressed in the absence of tryptophan the repressor protein is inactive and cannot occupy the operator side of the trip operon when the operator side is unoccupied RNA polymerase can attach to the operon's promoter region indicated by P sub TRP and begin transcription the structural genes of the trip operon are labeled E, D, C, B, and A. RNA polymerase transcribes these genes, producing an mRNA transcript. Translation of the mRNA transcript produces five enzymes that participate in a metabolic pathway that synthesizes tryptophan. Each enzyme catalyzes a different step in the pathway. With these enzymes and with the necessary raw materials, the cell synthesizes tryptophan. When the levels of tryptophan exceed the needs of the cell, tryptophan molecules act as co-repressors of the trip operon. Tryptophan binds to the trip repressor protein, causing a conformational change that converts the repressor from an inactive to an active form. The conformational change allows the repressor to bind to the operator side of the operon. The repressor acts as a roadblock, preventing RNA polymerase from transcribing the structural genes. The trip operon is repressed. The enzymes eventually degrade and are not remade, so the cell ceases to make tryptophan. When the cell uses up its supply of tryptophan, the repressor loses its co-repressor and becomes inactive again. The repressor falls off the operator site and thereby allows RNA polymerase to initiate transcription again. Okay, so you have seen uh, the basic mechanism of tryptophan operon, which is clearly illustrated, uh, except for this mistake that this uh, promoter and operator are distinct in this picture, but actually operator is found somewhere in middle of the promoter. That's the difference. Now, uh, yeah, in this case we will be seeing the inhibitors of tryptophan operon we have seen in previous cases. It's a dimer, right? So you can see the dimer, one is uh, in the blue color and another one is the green color. Now in the previous case when the tryptophan is absent, so in those case conditions, this, this uh, repressor protein uh, is always present inside the cell. But in those cases when there is no tryptophan, uh, these this, uh, this proteins are not activated. So the construction or the conformation is in such a way uh, uh, the angle uh, between all these proteins are placed in such a way that they cannot bind with this DNA major grooves and cannot block uh, uh, the the area for, uh, for for the um, RNA polymers binding in this case, right? But whenever there is a presence of tryptophan, so tryptophan will come and attach uh, to this uh, repressor protein and thus changing the conformation in such a way uh, that this protein now, these repressor proteins now can easily bind with the major group of uh, those promoter site, of those operator site and by thus, thus uh, blocking uh, the path for the RNA polymerase uh, and uh, as a result the, the transcription of the structural gene is blocked, right? So this is the basic view. Now let us talk about the leader sequence and which is really really important because we have seen in in, in earlier example earlier pictures uh, what is the leader sequence we have seen the leader sequence is further upstream of uh, those promoter region now the leader sequence are having a very very important role in blocking the tra tryptophan uh, transcription or operon for those tryptophan biosynthetic uh, uh, enzymes right why uh, we need uh, this leader sequence uh, why not the general mechanism can block it? For example, in, in normal uh, condition when we are having a higher amount of tryptophan 
still if those tryptophan somewhere fail to uh, block uh, those uh, area fail to block the repressor uh, fail to block the area for the rna polymerase binding or it fails to uh, activate the repressor molecules in such a way or sometimes uh, if uh, the concentration of the repressor molecule get uh, get get lower in inside the cell in those situations uh, when uh, the cell do, do not need any amount of tryptophan but still RNA polymer is in sitting on the promoter and it indicates that it will transcribe all the structural genes which will help to provide the tryptophan in those situations uh, uh, this tryptophan uh, operon need to shut down itself and in those kind of si situation when there there is uh, no repressor or rep repressor is not working and all the tryptophan binding is not working this is a way of blocking the process this is called the leader sequence now the leader sequence as you can see is made up with a, uh, a huge stretch of amino acids as you can see in this case now uh, four uh, regions are really really important in this leader sequences why because if you look it carefully you can find uh, the palindromic appearances of this four regions one palindrome with two two with three and three with four so they can usually b b make hydrogen bond between themselves if uh, they uh, make a loop uh, in between these DNA segments right so this is a very very important assumption so right after synthesizing the mRNA of the leader sequence what uh, they are assuming they are assuming the productivity uh, they are assuming that if if, if if the repressor system fails but still this uh, this leader mrna will have enough capability to block uh, the tryptophan operon okay now uh, it helps in the attenuation of the tryptophan operon attenuation mean uh, uh, the the termination of uh, the transcription of those structural genes right and how it uh, achieved that by doing a simple mechanism in this case now in th in this uh, slide I'm j we are just going to see uh, the characteristic of it and in the next slide we'll be seeing the mechanism now here what we can see we can see the different amino acids are placed uh, or, or the sequence for different amino acids are placed together and there is a part where we are having two stretch of tryptophan amino acid anticodons uh, sorry tr tryptophan amino acid codons now this codons UGG code for the tryptophan amino acid so in this case we need to bring about uh, the tRNA which is having the anticodon for uh, for this UGG uh, that means uh, ACC will be uh, uh, the anticodon of this the tRNAs and it will it must carry tryptophan with itself so in in the situations uh, we know uh, when there is less amount of tryptophan so there will be less tryptophan so this uh, this process will be halted here right uh, so will be seen in the next uh, next so in this case what we can see is uh, when there is a higher amount of tryptophan present so the tryptophan is abandoned in the cell so uh, in this case uh, uh, first let's uh, say a very important consideration which is in prokaryotic cell transcription and translation usually go simultaneously at the same time so when you can see the ribosome is sit on to this mRNA and it is synthesizing the uh, proteins uh, at the same time the uh, further upstream uh, sorry for the downstream uh, the transcription is going on and in those situations what will happen when uh, there are uh, a few, uh, many or higher amount of tryptophan inside the cell what will they do now you can see in this case uh, if there is a higher amount of tryptophan uh, when particularly this ribosome is moving and it is coming on to the uh, 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 leader one sequence where uh, we can see that there is two tryptophan amino acid as we as we know as we've seen in the previous slide so in in those situations if there are higher amount of tryptophan so tRNA uh, will easily find the tryptophan and it can easily bring the tryptophan here and bind with it and easily translation will go on and as a result of easy translation movement one uh, leader one and leader two regions are occupied by the MR, uh, by this ribosomes because ribosome is a pretty large structure so during this time the this, this distant uh, portions or the two three and four region of the leader sequence uh, will have enough time to make a bond or to make hydrogen bond between themselves and this hydrogen bond formation between themselves followed by poly u uh, uh, will give the signal of transcriptional termination you have seen in case of uh, the, the basic transcription process they can be terminated DNA uh, RNA polymers will fall off and everything will be stalled in this particular place 
Okay. Now, if there are less amount of tryptophan present, what will happen? The scenario will change complete, completely in this situation. What will happen? In this case, uh, uh, ribosome is moving on to it and whenever it reaches the uh, leader 1 uh, position where it need to tryptophan uh, to continue the, rep mm, the translation process, in this case, as there are less amount of tryptophan present, so the tRNA uh, will have a hard time to find out the tryptophan and drag them to this particular place. Because there is a less amount of tryptophan, they need to have a high, uh, they need a lot more time to find the true two tryptophans and come onto it and sit onto the particular position. So for this purpose, during this time, the RNA, uh, uh, th this ribosome will stall for some time when uh, the, this tryptophan tRNAs will uh, need the time for finding them and RNA will stop at this place for, for and this time gap give enough time period to the uh, uh, leader sequence 2 and 3 to pair with each other with the help of hydrogen bonding. Now this 2 and 3 uh, uh, structure uh, this is also stem loop structure but this is not followed by poly U and we know the only transcriptional terminator can be those kind of structure which is uh, made by a stem loop followed by poly U tail but in this case this is a structure of uh, uh, stem loop and it is not followed by poly U as a result uh, in this case this type of loop cannot terminate uh, the translation cannot terminate the uh, transcription process for this uh, only uh, so 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 whatever uh, the uh, this ribosome stall at this place or whatever it is doing but after some time when uh, the the tryptophan uh, tRNA find all those tryptophan and come and bind with it the ribosome easily passes through this uh, this loop and when it is passes through the loop this, this bond will be disrupted and again the whole uh, transcript will be translated by the ribosome and as a result the structural gene will be made. So again, by this kind of attenuation, it is uh, it is mentioned or it is maintained that if you are having higher level of tryptophan, you must not produce any further level of tryptophan by giving the only two stretch of tryptophan amino acid required regions in this mRNA transcript. So this is a very very clever design to control the level of tryptophan inside the cell. We will be seeing an animation onto it, which is a pretty fair. So let us play it. Okay. In E. coli, the trip operon consists of the structural genes trip E, D, C, B, and A, the gene products of which are enzymes that convert the chemical chorismate to the amino acid tryptophan. When tryptophan levels are high enough, the cell uses two different mechanisms, negative regulation and attenuation, to shut down the expression of these structural genes. The operon has a repressor called the APO repressor, encoded by the TRIP-R gene. If the cell has excess tryptophan, tryptophan binds to the APO repressor to form an activated complex called the holorepressor. In a classic example of negative regulation, the holorepressor now binds to the TRIP operator and turns off the expression of the structural genes by blocking RNA polymerase. However, even under conditions of high tryptophan, occasionally RNA polymerase will be able to access the operon and begin to transcribe the coding regions. As a second means of regulating the trip operon, E. coli uses a mechanism called transcriptional attenuation. Attenuation occurs at a region of the operon called the leader that lies between the operator and the first structural gene, trip E. The leader contains a number of important regions, including four regions that can form base pairs with each other in different combinations. Regions 2 and 3 can pair to form a structure called the anti-attenuator stem loop. Alternatively, regions 1 and 2 can pair and 3 and 4 can pair. When 3 and 4 pair, the structure formed is called the attenuator stem loop, and it is this structure that triggers transcription terms.